you use the, the comparison of a catcher, real estate agents were really functioned as a catcher for the past couple of years. Tell us more about that. Actually, it's been for the last. And how that impacts today. If you started in real estate in the last four years, and, I, and I'm sorry to tell you this, you're a catcher. You're not someone who created business on your own. What you did is reacted to it instead and caught it as it hit you because it's coming so fast from so many directions, you just caught it all. The only thing I would tell you is a tool set to fix for where we go forward. You know what I don't worry about when they say the market's gonna change? Because I'm gonna adapt. I'm gonna create my own business every day. Like every person who competes with me or thinks they're competing with me because they can't compete with me because I'm not competing with them. I'm competing with me. I, I'm gonna sit down every day and I'm gonna get a little bit better for me because I'm, I'm still learning when I stop, I'm gonna quit. But I'm gonna just get a little better. That's what you need to do too. And, and you need to not be reliant on someone else to hand you business. What you need to do instead is form relationships with people around you, care about the people around you, put God central first in your life and in your heart. Everywhere you go, make sure that you're making the person's lives around you better than they were before you walked into that space. And if you do that, then you create your own business every day wherever you are. So what I would tell you is you can't be lazy when you're in a market like we're in right now. If you want to be at the head of it, then you have to be pounding doors, you have to be calling clients, you have to, when you dine somewhere, I was a perfect example, it's everywhere she eats, everywhere she goes, everything else she does, she talks to every person in there. She can't believe and then not know who she is when she is. So I'm just saying, the, the, the thing is, you don't want something from someone else. People sense when that's what you want. You instead want to bring your service to the table. So right this moment, more than it's ever been, your number one goal should be to create a customer service experience. It, it, you're trying to do something for them. So you have to show them what you're doing for them, how you're doing it for them.